the riot did a lot of harm to Vancouver's reputation, but there is a positive side emerging. Deborah Goble shines a light on some unsung heroes. Like so many unsung heroes that night, no one got his name. Just a young man standing up to the rioters. It is our city. Over and over, cameras captured similar images. <laughs> Men and women disgusted by what they were seeing. I'm five foot two and 130 pounds. This makes you feel big. A hand up. Right. A human barricade. So many people stunned into action by what was happening around them. Some getting beaten for their efforts. I just thought we were better than this. It turns out we are. From the cleanup crews the next morning to the young rioters who are turning themselves in. Because for every story of violence, there is another of courage. Cameron Brown was knocked down and beaten for just trying to put out fires in garbage pails. I've always kind of felt that, you know, if you see something bad happening um, and you know what's right, the worst thing you can do is to stand and just do nothing. Amidst all the mayhem, it has been the one redeeming factor. People standing up to what was so obviously wrong when it seemed even the police would not. I'm sorry that we couldn't back you up and get to you earlier, so thank you for trying to protect other people's property, helping others. Uh, what you've done is truly heroic. Which is why both the mayor and the premier have said they'd like to do something to honour those people for what they did that night. Uh, we'd like to know who they are and, and uh, be able to recognise them for their bravery. This Facebook page was created for one anonymous hero, but the sentiment expressed applies to so many and may be just what our bruised and battered city needs. Deborah Goebel, CBC News, Vancouver.